Welcome to the Mathematics MI channel. In this video, I am going to generalize the uh, personal integral. We know integral from 0 to infinity sine of x raised to the n dx. Well, first uh, I am going to start with the substitution. So, we can take u is equal to x to the n. Now, differentiate. So, du is equal to uh, n times x raised to the n minus 1 dx then uh, we can simplify du is equal to n times now we know x is equal to u raised to the 1 over n so 1 over n here in minus 1 uh, dx uh, then uh, still we have simplify so we can simplify this is uh, like here u to the now n get cancelled so 1 minus 1 over n dx now we can isolate the dx so dx is equal to 1 over n 1 over n u to the 1 over n minus 1 du okay then uh, we can substitute here so uh, we can take our integral is equal i and we know i is equal to integral from 0 to limit also 0 to infinity here uh, sine of x to the n we know u so sine of u dx is equal to uh, 1 over n we know uh, constant so we can write outside of the integral sign and here u to the 1 over n minus 1 <coughs> du ok then um, we know uh, this formula e to the ix is equal to cosine of x plus i times sine of x and we know uh, now uh, sine of x is equal to uh, imaginary part of e to the i x imaginary part of e to the i x so we can write uh, here 1 over n imaginary part of uh, integral from 0 to infinity now here u to the 1 over n minus 1 times sine of u uh, we know e to the uh, i times now here we have u so e to the i u t u okay then <coughs> we know the definition of gamma function uh, in gamma function we have e to the minus sign here minus sign uh, but uh, here we haven't minus sign so i am going to rearrange this uh, 1 over n imaginary part of integral from 0 to infinity u to the 1 over n minus 1 uh, e to the now uh, in this power I am going to multiply by i so i square we know minus 1 and also we should divide it by i so e to the minus 1 over i times u d u ok then um, now 1 over n imaginary part of now <coughs> if we have here only minus u we know this is equal to uh, gamma function <coughs> gamma of n uh, sorry gamma of 1 over n uh, but here we have minus 1 over i so we can write gamma over so gamma of 1 over n times 1 over i raised to the minus 1 over n power ok then uh, we can simplify we know gamma of 1 over n is real so gamma of 1 over n over n uh, imaginary part of now 1 over i raised to the minus 1 over n so we can write this is i raised to the 1 over n power and uh, we know i we can represent i uh, is equal to e to the i pi over 2 i is equal to e to the i pi over 2 so we can write here gamma of 1 over n over n uh, here uh, imaginary part of now instead of i e to the i pi over 2 so e to the i pi over 2 times n uh, now we can write gamma of 1 over n over n 
sorry gamma of 1 o n o n times now we know imaginary part of e to the i phi over 2 n again we can use this formula so we can write uh, this is equal to sine of pi over 2 n sine of pi over 2 n okay this is the generalization of this integral now we are going to evaluate uh, integral from 0 to infinity uh, sine of x square dx the personal integral so we can write uh, the answer gamma of gamma of 1 over n gamma of 1 over n, n we know 2 so gamma of 1 over 2 times uh, sine of now n is 2 so pi over 4 sine of pi over 4 over n we know 2 okay now uh, we can simplify gamma of 1 half we know the square root of pi square root of pi sine of pi over 4 we know um, 1 over square root of 2 so 2 times square root of 2 and we know this is equal to square root of pi over 8 okay this is the answer thank you for watching